How's it going, guys? Uh, Nordy back, bringing you some more uh, StarCraft ladder matches. Um, today I just played a, a couple random matches. Uh, you know, a couple matches as a random player, so... This is not part of my uh, road from Silver to Masters League, but I'm still going to try to keep my APM as low as possible for you guys, so... We're going to jump into this match here. It's between uh, myself versus MCRN. It's a uh, PBT. So let's get it going. It's on a defender's landing. Let's see, we're uh, well. Actually, I'm a I'm a bronze player, but I ended up getting my main, so a little bit unfair. But it it is. let's get the, the name plates up there in the production tab. Uh, let's get make sure we're on my cam there. All right, so PBT. Um, you don't really need to wall off the main. You just want to work on getting your Pylons in good places to defend against a uh, that early Reaper that usually comes out uh, for Terrans. So again, I like to put my pylons, my first couple pylons, uh, one at each each gas here, and then one in the back of my base to defend against the Reaper and defend against uh, medevac pushes. And then after that gate, you want to uh, send your probe across the map to uh, do some scouting. Uh, when I was going into this match, I had this new build that I want to... Or wait, no, this isn't the match for that one. Never mind, that, that's the next match. Never mind, never mind. So uh, I'm just going to scout just to uh, things you're looking for. Uh, you're looking for double gas. Um, if he's doing double gas, I mean, he could be doing a lot of things, but most likely, most uh, most Terran players like to go uh, Marine Cyclone, so... If he, uh, if he's got the double gas, he's probably doing Marine Cyclone, so you want to get Immortals out. If he's not doing Marine Cyclone, then he's probably doing something like a Marine Liberated Push. In which case, uh, your Stalkers that you get along with your Immortals will be able to deal with that pretty handily. So I come over and I only see one gas. So initially I think I'm good to take my uh, Expo here. But I do manage to scout that double Rax, which is a little bit... A little bit unorthodox for uh, somebody, a Terran player who's trying to go just one base play, so I uh, pull my probe out, but it's kind of just a bait. I'm just going to send him right back in to uh, see if he takes the uh, the gas, because I think what he was doing was he didn't take that gas so that I would think he was doing one base play, but since I saw the double, double racks, I kind of figured he was going to go for a one base play, which I come back in and I see... Because I'm paying attention to my minimap again, you know, one of the, my three tenants there. Paying attention to my minimap, I see he's got another gas going up, so. I cancel that, and I just try to work on getting my army set up. So if you come up the ramp and you see uh, two racks going up, and he's only got one gas, you should still be thinking to yourself, you know, maybe he's doing some sort of two base, or one base pressure. Because a lot of Terrans, uh, they'll just get one one racks and then a, a factory before they expand um or they'll get one ra one racks and then expand and then get a factory um they usually don't do a double racks if they're gonna do a early expansion so they're gonna go off two days so want to be looking out for that as well as the gas so i ended up scouting it again scouting doing my two Two of my three tenants there, scouting and reacting to my... Actually, I was doing all three. Scouting, looking at my minimap, and reacting to what my opponent was doing. Here, I'm going to get my uh, observer out, send it across the map, to uh, get some more scouting done, just to confirm what I what I think I already know. Um, I'm going to start getting these stalkers out of these these gates while I wait for Warp Gate to go up, to get done. Just making sure I don't get supply blocked. I got my pylons, like you can see, in my uh, strategic places here. Um, I got one on each side, one in the back, and I got one in the front. Eventually I'll start getting more in the front too, to uh, help defend against any sort of early pressure. Just working on getting some units out real quick. Sending that, you can see on the mini-map, sending that observer across to uh, get some scouting. Getting the forge up so I can go, uh, go ahead and get plus one. That's something I lack at, I lack on in mo a lot of my matches, I don't get uh, upgrades very much. That's something I'm, something I need to work on. 
There I uh, switch my chrono. Since my warp gate is almost done, I make sure to switch my chrono over to my uh, the box facility here so I can get those immortals out just that little bit a little bit faster. Another thing you want to be uh, paying attention to. And I'm just working on getting units out, making sure I don't get to supply blocked. See there I get two sentries. So my mortal or my observers over here, so I come up here and scout. See he's going for a pretty heavy bio play. And he's trying to wall off his uh that little entrance right here. You see on the mini map of my cursors, he's trying to wall it off right here. That's fine, because on Defender's Landing, there's uh, two ways to get into the base. You can come in here, and then there's a way in the back over here. If you're looking at the main map, my cursor, you can also come in this way. So He's going to have to wall off two two places. And since he's walling that off, I'm thinking in my mind, you know, he's probably getting expansion. So he probably doesn't have a super amount of units. I mean, I see how many units he has, but he probably could have a lot more if he wasn't trying to get to the expansion there. So he really didn't commit to... He really didn't commit to one base play, like, like he did kind of a weird build, like, he went one base play, but then he didn't really commit to it, so there's no early pressure that's going to be coming out, so I just send my units across the map a little bit earlier than usual, like I said in the last video, if you were watching it, usually I send my units out if I'm doing one base play around six minutes, but here I send them out just a little bit early, see if I can't uh, punish his, uh, the indecisiveness here. Got my observer down here just to see if he's got any extra units down here that I need to be worried about. And I see that he doesn't. Again, showing the importance of uh, getting that o observer out there across the map. I'm gonna bring my army up here and try to uh, take out his uh, his production down here in the uh, the nap. So he has to keep on try to keep him on one base. Take out a bunch of SCVs and see how many he's got. He's got more than me, but that's because he had two bases. So he's bringing his army down, and I figure I probably don't, probably don't have enough to fight it. I managed to uh, make him pull back because of my guardian shield. He didn't want to fight me while I had guardian shield up. So that might have been a mistake on his part because I managed to take out his, uh, his uh, second uh, command center there. And so here, if you were watching uh, the video I had. Uh, a few matches ago, and it was on this map too, it was the uh, Grand Final match. Uh, I was playing a PVT just like this one on the same map, and I had a similar situation as that. I got a good engagement, I uh, kind of destroyed his mineral line. I actually did a little bit more damage in that video than I did here. And uh, I decided just to uh, haphazardly keep throwing units at his uh, main base there, and ended up losing my whole army because I didn't learn to just pull back my units and uh, expand. So if you watch that match, uh, here you can see an example of me finally learning from my mistakes. And here I pull my army back and I take the expansion. And you're about to see what happened, what would have happened in that match had I just pulled my army back and took the expansion instead of just keep uh, throwing units against that uh, Terran Terran wall up there. Um, like a lot of a lot of mid to low level players will uh, get tunnel visioned in that situation that I had earlier there where I got my units across the map and I'm winning um, a lot of like I said a lot of uh, mid to uh, mid to lower level players will uh, just get tunnel vision and think to themselves you know I'm winning I gotta I gotta go 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 you know I gotta win more you know I got them on the run I gotta keep pushing and they end up just losing their entire army because they uh, they push too hard when uh, they could have just got back they could have just Push, pull back, uh, got an expansion, uh, continue to uh, get your economy set up and just make more units than he has. Because right now I have a, I have an economic lead on him, so I'm making more money than he is. And uh, I have significantly more units than he does right now. And I know that. And since I got my or my observer down there, I see he's floating his, uh, his second back down. So I'm going to send my units across again to uh, take out his, his natural. He should be putting those units that he has in his main down at his natural. I have no idea why he just keeps them up there, but that was a bit of a mistake. For him. So I send my units down to uh, take out that natural again, just to uh, keep continuing to make sure that I cut off his uh, production while I continue to get my production higher. 
So I'll come up here and I'll do basically the same thing I did last time. Trust the lift his command center this time, so I immediately start focusing down that. Try to take it down. Because I know if I can take that down, I mean, that's 400 minerals he's lost out on. But he's got tanks up, so I don't press the issue. Again, I'm learning from my mistakes from the last match I played on this map against the Terran. I'm learning from that mistake. I'm not just sending my units to die. I'm pulling back, because when you're ahead, you want to get more ahead, so that's what I'm doing. I know I'm ahead, so I'm just going to get more ahead, and I'm just going to crush him when he decides to move across the map. Uh, I leave a couple of my units back here to take out these uh, those uh, supply depots he had there, trying to wall off the main to uh, supply block him. And I managed to actually supply block him pretty significantly there, so that wasn't very good for him. Again, he should have had those units down at his main, but he did not. Um, he managed to snipe out my observer as well, so I just built another one up, though. Right now, I'm just macroing up. Uh, I'm going to take a third over here, as you can see on my mini-map. Um, I'm going to get my gases up. I'm going to start getting uh, my gates, gates higher. I'm going to start getting all my upgrades going. Making sure I can get to max supply. See here, he's still supply block because he has. Let's go look at his base real quick. He must have like no minerals. Yeah, see, <clears throat> I got him forced on one base, so he's just got no production. He just can't do anything. So, like I said, when you're ahead, you want to get more ahead. Um, if I were to attack this right now, I think I might win, but I'm just going to sit back and uh, continue to continue to macro up, because I don't want to have a repeat of the last time I played this match, because I ended up losing terribly. If you guys if you guys haven't watched that match, if you go back and watch, you'll see, you'll see me not doing what I'm doing right now, and just sending a bunch of units in to die, and I end up losing the match. So I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. So what you gotta do uh, in this game, you gotta you gotta recognize what you're doing wrong, and you gotta ha make a, a conscious decision, conscious uh, effort to uh, correct those mistakes, and that's what I'm trying to do here. So you can see here, I just have a massive army. I'm just looking to see if he's got a uh, a uh, natural expansion, which he does not. Oh, I'll bring the He's going uh, <laughs> going battle cruisers there. But it's far too late to go battle cruisers. I have I already have way too many stalkers. <laughs> he's not gonna have enough with the income that he has. He's not gonna have enough money. So I'm uh, gonna start getting out Colossus here since I know he's got a, a pretty heavy heavy bio army and uh, Colossus do pretty well to uh, take out the bio. And I'm getting my plus two up as well. Trying to get my upgrades going. Here I see, I managed to see his, uh, his uh, command center moving out there. He's uh, he's gonna, if you look at the mini map of my cursors, he's gonna float it all the way over here and start manning over here, which is never, never do that. Uh, even any race you're doing, never, never do that. Even, even if you know your opponent has a huge, a bigger army than you, just put it in your natural and try to defend at least. Like you're gonna be able to defend your natural way more than you're gonna be able to defend it. Defend uh, that base when it's all the way across the map from your main. So just, it's not advised to do that. <laughs> this is a major fuck up, man, and I'm going to severely punish him for it. I'll see that here in a little bit. So I know he's floating that over. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till the uh, I see his SCDs going over, which I see that now. You can see on the uh, mini map here, he's just parade pushing all his SCDs across. So I see he's doing that. So I'm gonna move out my army to go uh, to go take out take out literally all of his production now. Like that has to be pretty much all of his uh, SCDs there. You can see my army's just massive, and he probably doesn't have much. So what he was uh, planning on doing here, 
he was going, I think what he was planning on doing anyway, was the reason he sent that over there was A, to uh, try to see if he could uh, get a base over there to uh, to where I couldn't, wouldn't be able to find it, but I had an observer over there so I managed to see it. B, even if I did find it and I attacked, then he was just going to try to attack me and get me in a base trade, but it does not work out well for him. <laughs> My army is just too big at this point. I got too good of upgrades, I got plus two, I got a plus three attack coming. I'm getting out two more Colossus, uh, extended Thermal Lance, so you can see here he's attacking me, he's trying to get me in some sort of base trade, but I know his army can't be anywhere near as strong as mine, so I just pull my army back to deal with it. Whipping a bunch of Stalkers to defend up there, get him in a sandwich. <clears throat> I don't want to send my army in piecemeal though, so I'm going to group my army up a little bit before I come attack. I can lose this army up here, it's not too big a deal for me. I just don't want to lose this main army. Here I come in the back and I take out his tanks before he can even siege up. There he's got, you can see his, uh, the battle cruisers there, but he's only got two of them. So it's not going to get a whole lot done. There he warps him away. I thought he was going to warp him away to his main, but he ends up warping him to my main. But, <clears throat> again, I'm paying attention to my minimap, so I see it. And I just warp in a bunch of stalkers and, and deal with it. While I uh, push my main army across the map for the win. Because I just devastated his army, as you can see on the units tab here. He's only got... Uh, two marauders, two marines, and that battle cruiser that's slowly trying to get away. And he GG's, so. Again, um, some basic tenants there. Scouting, which I did, uh, sent the, uh, sent the initial, uh, <coughs> the initial probe over to, uh, scout, see what he was doing. I managed to spot the, uh, the double gas, so I knew he was probably going for some sort of early play, so I just sat back and got my army up early. Uh, then I followed it up with the, uh, the uh, observer so I could see his army and see what he's doing more, more towards the mid game. So I managed to see that he floated down a, uh, a second and I was starting to mine out for that, so I reacted to that and I pulled my army down and uh, took out his uh, income at his, at his uh, natural here. And instead of instead of uh, just haphazardly throwing units up here at his wall that could get that would have got crushed by his army, I uh, decided to learn from my mistake that I had last match and I pulled my army back uh, and just got more head and uh, just got a huge army out that he couldn't deal with. Um, like I said, if you watched that uh, last match that I ended up losing because I I uh, sent all my units in to die foolishly, um, this should have what what happened in this match should have happened in that match too if I uh, would have just pulled back. But again, this is an example of me learning from my mistakes. That's why it's important for you to uh, you know watch your replays um, and just um, try to watch out for things you're doing wrong so you can fix them in the future. Sometimes they're just small things like not paying attention to your mini-map, but sometimes they're big things like that, you know, not pulling your army back when you should and macroing up. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys uh, liked that match. Hope you learned something. Uh, I certainly did. Obviously, I learned from my mistake there. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you haven't seen the other video where I uh, lost in a very similar match to this, only I went the other path instead of the winning path that I took here. If you want to see that, definitely go check that video out. Um, it was a uh, grand final in a uh, round of six tournament, so you'll be able to find it in my videos. It'll be titled Grand, grand Final. Um, yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if uh, you like my, what I'm doing here. Um, again, I'm just trying to keep. Uh, well, let's go look at my APM real quick. I'm just trying to keep my APM as low as possible <clears throat> to show you guys that you don't need a high APM to beat uh, to beat um, you know mid tier level players. This guy was only silver player, but that's because I was playing random today. This is MCRN, so oh, I actually had more APM than he did. So, but I still stuck. 
you know, in the 60 range. So he just had incredibly low APM. <laughs> like, that's too low. 40 is too low. You need at least at least 50, I would imagine. Well, I mean, maybe you could win at 40. I might try it sometime. We'll see. But yeah, if you guys liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Nordy out.